Hello and welcome back to the Data Unite channel. My name is Tseko and today we will discuss about the Logistic Regression Machine Learning Model. If you like this kind of content and you want to learn more about machine learning, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Logistic Regression is a supervised learning machine model that is used in classification problems where there are only two classes and it performs the classification by applying the sigmoid function for which the formula is the following 1 over 1 plus uh, e to the power of minus t. Uh, such problems are uh, spam email filtering or classification of tumor if it is malignant or benign. As in any other algorithm, uh, logistic regression has advantages and disadvantages. For example, advantages when using the algorithm are it is easy to understand, it has a good accuracy on simple datasets and it performs well when the data is linearly separable. It does not overfit easily, but uh, only in case of high dimensional data, uh, there are some regularization techniques that can be used and can be applied in order to avoid, to avoid some overfitting scenarios. Uh, and also it is very easy to implement, interpret and also it can be trained efficiently. On the other hand, as disadvantages we have, uh, feature engineering is always required because this algorithm is sensitive to noise. Um, if the features are correlated, it can affect uh, the performance uh, of the model. And um, if we have more features than records, which means that we have more columns than rows in our data set, uh, the logistic regression model is not useful because at the end it will lead to overfitting. And the last disadvantage is that uh, in nonlinear problems, where the data is not linearly separable, logistic regression will not be able to solve and classify the data correctly. Logistic regression uses the logit function, which is uh, z equals y multiplied by uh, omega to the power of t times x, where the part of um, omega to the power of t times x represents the distance from the data point to the line that splits the two, the two classes. The data points are classified in such way that all points that are above the line should be positive, so they will have y to be equal to 1 and omega to, to the power of t times x to be bigger than 0, so we have also that part positive. And all the points that are below the line should have negative values, which means we will have y to be equal to minus 1 and the part with omega to the power of t times x should be less than zero. So we'll have also that part to be negative. Um, so in this situation, we have uh, four different cases where we can explain the classification outcomes uh, from which two cases will be positive and two cases will be with negative values. The cases which have positive outcome are when the, the point is classified correctly and when we have the outcome as negative value that means that that point has been classified incorrectly. So in case one the green point is above the line so we have yi to be equal to plus one and omega on power t uh, times xi is bigger than zero. So the result of the logit function is positive because one multiplied by any other positive value is still a positive value. So this means, as we said before, a good classification. In case two, we have the red point, which is below the line. So in this case, we will have yi to be equal to minus one and omega to the power of t multiplied by xi should be also below one, so below zero. So which means we have a negative value. And the result of the logit function is positive because a minus one multiplied by any other 
negative value gives us a positive result because we have negative times negative value gives us a positive outcome. So this is also a good classification. Um, in the case three, where the green point is below the line, so in this case, the green points are um, uh, signed as with value for yi to be positive. So we have yi equals to plus one, but the part with omega to the power of t times xi is less than zero because it is below the line. So the result of the logit function is negative since plus one multiplied by a negative value leads to a negative value to the result. This means that the green point has been uh, incorrectly classified. And the case four, we have the red point, which is above the line of the classification line. So we have yi to be equal to minus one and omega to the power of t multiplied by xi is greater than zero. So in this so in this case, the result of the logit function is negative since minus one multiplied by a positive value gives us a negative value as, a, as an outcome. And hence this, thing, uh, this tells us that the red point has been classified incorrectly because um, in our case, in our example, we should have all the green points to be above the classification line and all the red points to be below the classification line. Mm, this means that the logic fun the logit function um, has positive outcome when the record is correctly classified and if the value is negative, then the record has been incorrectly classified. So the cost function is basically maximizing the sum of all uh, logit function outcomes for the data points in our data set. So if we have 1 million records, we will have 1 million logit functions, logit function outcomes, uh, which represent the classification of the records. And at the end, all of them are summed up. The higher the sum, the better the classification of the record is performed. Um, this result is used to decide where the best fit line should be placed in order to separate the two classes in the best way possible and uh, on each iteration we are updating the omega value so th the part with omega to the power of t value because y is always minus one or plus one and x is the value of the record in the data set so if the point is uh, 10 that means that uh, the value for x is gonna be 10. So uh, you are asking now, where does the sigmoid function come in play? Well, the sigmoid function is used in order to mitigate the issue with outliers by normalizing the results calculated by the logit function and transforming them to um, values in the range between zero and one, which is done by applying the formula one over one plus uh, e to the power of minus z where minus z is the result of the logit function for the specific record and e is a constant with the value of 2.718. With this we have covered the theoretical part regarding logistic regression and in the next video we will cover a new algorithm called naive bias. Also in the future videos um, I will make a session of implementing the uh, logistic regression model on a real world data set and in that way we will understand how it can be used um, for classification of data on some data sets. Thank you for watching this video until the end and see you in the next one. Bye bye!